going to go ahead and show her because sometimes she naps in a place that I can't reach her very well. Bella, they all think you're the star. See in her collar? I don't know if you can see it from there, but her collar has stars and moons on it. And that's because we always tell her we love her to the moon and the stars. And back. Bella, they saw you on TV, I think, today. Lots of them did. <laughs> Tina, tell Paul to get home. He's being naughty now. She don't want me there because I do the <laughs> same thing to her. <laughs> you got, Bella's got a bad spot on her. Yeah, my jacket. I'll get that for you. I'll be here in the morning. I'll okay. get that on stuff out of the first first thing in the morning. Those beans and balls. Okay, and okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have to see how mm -hmm. good it is. And then um, I'll get that. Doohickey moved up here. What's Doohickey? Stay later. Oh, the autoclave. Autoclave. Okay. All right. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you, Mike. But then they're always cool, and I think we have to. Is the video and audio on? Okay for everybody. And it just reads it up a little. Whoops. There we go. I think we're okay there. Okay, we're on then. We've got one box. This one is at FFR. Bella, this is for you. This is for Bella. This one is from Amazon. Amazon and these two I know are from Nuki. I don't know what's in them. Connie does. I do, I do, I do. But she I wouldn't do. tell me. I do. I, I do too. I, I can pretty well guess what's in them without even knowing. And I asked Connie and she, she said, yeah. What's up there? I get to know something for her. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I always like to be the one to have fun secrets for people. Um, and then in addition to this, we've got uh, one postcard and one real big white card. And I don't have any special notes right now, I think. So I hope I've got everything that I'm supposed to know before I open boxes. Oops, Emma. <laughs> Emmy, I love you. She says you were squishing me a real bit. And Carolina Ash, I hope, is on to help us out. Thank you, Emmeline. Um, this is with a no name. I don't have a name. We've got one case of Fancy Feast Salmon and Shrimp. This is one that uh, Putter, Putter Butter Boy likes. And we also have a 24 can of Fruit Peas. Oops, there we go. Oh, the prime filet seafood flavors. But I don't have a name. Does anybody know who it might be from? Who sent the box? Yeah, Anna Marie, maybe try to find out. Okay, well, maybe you guys can catch it, and hopefully somebody will let us know. I always like to know so we can give our proper thanks. But we've got a 24-pack of frisky. And a whole case of salmon and shrimp uh, fancy feast. This is, you know, we don't get very many of them with shrimp, and I know the kitties love those. All right, well, thank you, thank you, thank you for that, because we we like food here. We love food. Yeah, Connie keeps trying to tell them they've had enough to eat, but they keep saying no. This morning at breakfast, oh my golly, I do like thirteen things. Um, uh, yeah. uh -oh. and uh, it's like 13 friskies mm -hmm. or then that makes twice as many fancy feast or packets I mix them up with mm -hmm. tuna and um, mm -hmm. uh, mackerel sometimes mm -hmm. or salmon or what's uh, chicken. yeah chicken whatever oh my gosh they, I, I make a good breakfast for these kitties Sardines! I was mad at one of the kitties the other day. When I open up the can of sardines, I always pick me off a piece of no on the side so I can eat it later so you guys don't think I'm really eating cat food. 
Oh, that was yesterday. Morning, so <laughs> oh, I saw that. Oh, about that. And somebody ate my piece of sardine that I had so hidden in the back there, and I came over to get it, and I, I think it was Octavia actually was eating it right then and there. Ooh, Octavia, yes. Octavia, it was her. We got a paper. And this is from Sharon K. Sharon K. It says, to all the kitties with love from Smudgy Cat. Uh, to all the kitties, we watch you on. Cam from the UK. Hope you enjoy the noms. Mm -mm, must be something yummy. Thank you for all you do. A full tummy is a happy tummy. Lots of love from Smudgy. Oh, and Smudgy is her cat. Oh, I like that. Smudgy the cat. So let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. We definitely like this. This is the Whisker Packet. Actually, I think this is what I used for breakfast this morning. Some of these. There's 12 of these in a box. So we've got four of those. Smudgy the Cat. You and Cat and Cat ought to become good friends. Hearing? Yeah, and if you want to set them there, Judy's going to be here tomorrow. And she's going to organize all that for us tomorrow. And this is another four pack and these are the poultry flavor and uh, the cat like this one because it's very juicy and I think I know what this one is maybe yes sir this is a flavor that we haven't had for a little while these are the are the temptations yeah, is it the turkey yep tantalizing turkey Thank you so much, Smudge Kitty, Smudgy Cat. I like that. Luton's bed of the U of the UK. Isn't that amazing, you guys? You guys are just way wonderful. Hey, Connie, do you want to put a couple of these in the tree farm? They haven't we, They haven't had a haven't had the turkey one for a while. Huh? Gotta remember, I've been working. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> thank you, Sharon. And thank your kitty, Smudgy, too. You know, um, I got a call or a email from Judy S. That volunteers here. She needs boxes, so we're going to try to save these things. The kitties are starting to have as much fun with those um, airbag pockets as what they do with the um, paper ones. We're going to save Mookie's for last because i got to go get her paper that I ran mm. off <coughs> that I have not read. Mm. Bella, Bella, this is for you. Mm. Bella, do you want to come over here? She said, not as long as Emma I'm going that bed. Mm. we got to do something with her skin again to feel her neck. Bella's neck is all rough again. Bella, you got a card. I don't know what that is in there. Bella, we're going to add this to your card. Oh, 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 oh. I see it. That is so cute. Oh, this is, uh, this is too cool. i got to show you this card. <laughs> Let's see if you can see that. This, the jar says, they don't ask, and it says it takes work. They have faces have the sparkly beauty mask stuff on. And it says, it takes work to be as fabulous as we are. They're talking about you, Bella girl. And this is from uh, Nancy or Peekaboo, one of our webcamers. And her two diva cat, Suji. F-U-G-I and Tomo, T-O-M-O, -O, said, Dear Bella, it is so good to see you scooting around the center again. We missed watching you on cam. I hope you continue to heal and recover quickly. The food here was apparently not to the liking of my finicky boys, so I thought you and your friends might like it. Please promise me you will share with all your friends at the center, including Putter, from two divas to another, uh, Peekaboo, Suji, C U G or no S U G I and Tomo. Isn't that too cute? You can see the sparkles on there. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bella. Here, you want to 
add it to the... I don't think I'm ever going to take this card down. We started some on the... We, on our wall, or on our hall, the way that goes down to city campus rooms, both sides of the wall now has cards. Most of them are for Bella, and then a couple... I know there's one for Cutter. Saw, so, was it in my mind? There was another one. So, Bella, let's see what you've got. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen this kind before. Oh, so lifty. Uh -huh. Well, I can tell you right now, Peekaboo Kitty, that they will love this. This is mackerel and tuna. Of course they will like it. Your boys didn't like this? And this one is chicken dinner and pumpkin soup. I've given pumpkin to some of the cats before for different reasons. This is salmon and tuna dinner and pumpkin soup. These are all um, solistic is their name, and they're all grain free. Thank you. You two kitties. Well, we got we got three kitty. We got presents from three kitties today. It's pretty cool. You know what, Carrie? Let me get. I'm going to take two of each, and I'm going to use these for part of their breakfast tomorrow. And then maybe you might want to put these down below, otherwise Octavia will get into them. Thank you, guys. This is awesome. Oh, it's okay, Jim. <laughs> it's okay. They're full, full of air. And when you step on them, they pop, or they fly with you. Picture. It's a fall, fall picture. It says it's Thanksgiving. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, this is from Sunny Cat. It's Thanksgiving, and I give thanks for people like you, the devoted volunteers, Connie and Carrie, and Steve for his support. If the kitties could talk, I know they would thank you, even though you stick me. <laughs> Even though you stick needles in them. Yeah, we did that today for sure. Um, this is from Sunny Cat from Ottawa, Canada. And it's for it's addressed to me and the volunteers, Connie and Carrie. Thank you. We're gonna we'll add this um, also to our cork board. Thank you, Sunny Cat. I was looking at that cork board today and I just think that that's pretty cool. I love it. This we got today, big, big envelope. It says, Love from Precious and Little Egypt. And it's for the Friends of Felines. This is a really cool way to send it. We put two envelopes together. I wonder how we can get in there safely without hurting anything. Maybe um, this way. Oh, here. I wonder if I can get it. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Oh, there's tape. Oh, maybe we went past it. I like your packaging. Lumpy! Lumpy! Oh, it says, thank you for all you do. You keep the cleanest ship I've ever seen. <laughs> I, you know what? That's one of the best compliments people can give me. I love that. Hope these stamps help you all out. I love all the kitties, big and little. Yours, and it's Am Sprinkle. It's Am Sprinkle. I, actually, I think I saw your name on there today or tonight. Check these out. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, we can always use stamps. Always. Those are cool stamps. 
They're they're lion or tigers. It says save vanishing species: African elephant, the marine turtle, great ape, tiger, Asian elephant, and the rhinoceroses. Save vanishing species. Multinational species conservation fund. Thank you. This is an awesome gift. Yeah, I just sent out a bunch of thank you notes today, so I use stamps, lots of stamps. Thank you. That's really cool. Am sprinkle. It's am sprinkle. Thank you. I'll put these in my desk in, inside where I write the thank you notes at. Really, really cool. Okay, so I think we're ready for new keys, which means I gotta go around the corner and get um get her letter because I hit it so I wouldn't read it. I just wanted to mention too, if um, Sherry C is on from California, I did get your letter and I've got your email address and I am, I got, I've been really kind of busy today so I didn't get your email answered but I am going to do that and I thank you for your interest. Maybe you're on tonight but um, I will get your email answered because I'm, I'm excited. So cool. Thank you. All right. This is from Nuki. We've got, hi Sierra, we got a little present and a big present. And, oh, excuse me, I said that wrong. Actually, this is from Nuki Sr., who I'm going to say is Nuki's, Nuki Mom's cat. So from, <laughs> at the top, Nuki Sr. says, from the elegant highest perch of Nuki Sr., and in parentheses, as dictated to my personal slave, which I'm going to say must be Nuki Mom. <laughs> That's cute. Dear Miss Jackie, I understand you rescue cats. Fascinating. I myself rescue humans. <laughs> I've only managed to track one, but she suits me. Oh, you're lucky, Nuki Mom. While letting my slave use my laptop, she and I have watched your webcam and enjoyed my slave's words and been dismayed by my words, the antics of both feline and human entities. That is too funny. First, I am utterly appalled that it takes so many felines to control so few humans. <laughs> I am also, I am almost ashamed to share the same DNA with these cats. I must say, however, that I most admire Badu, and in parentheses, a feline after my own heart, and Mr. Putter, and in parentheses, I am now applying his staring methods to my own stepbrothers, <laughs> because their attitudes alone have given me heart in your enterprise there, I have decided to send on the following gifts. My slave is a tad perturbed that I borrowed her credit card. She will get over it, or I will find another slave. This sounds like, like uh, this cat's got it made. One of these gifts is very like one I have in my own home, and I have found it useful to get up and down to higher altitudes without pulling the muscle. I am thinking here of putter, Farah, any, and all tripods. Hmm. Another gift is for those poor little abandoned felines who come to you covered in fleas. And the last two gifts are for your cats to learn some hunting skills. Good heavens, what if a real mouse got in your place? Those cats would probably run screaming to mommy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nuki Senior, you're a riot. Please enjoy. Tell my special little namesake, that would be our little Nuki, that I am proud to share my name with her. I like an independent sort, like me, who likes high places, like what we both deserve. She will go far in this world, and I think she deserves at least a competent slave like I possess. Cordially yours, Nuki Sr., as typed by Mary the Slave. Oh my gosh, this is too awesome. 
I think um, I think I got to put this out and keep it front and center on our board so everybody can read this. <laughs> thank you, Nuki and Nuki's, or thank you, Nuki Senior and Nuki Slave. There we go. Should we do the little box first? No. What do you think? I don't think because it gives me headaches. Oh. Okay, we'll do little. Usually, I save little box for last. I like little boxes too. Mm. And this is from um, uh, Doctors Fosters and Smith, then from Nuki Senior and Nuki's mama. Oh, look at those kitties. Itty bitty batters, catnip toys. Do you want to hold one up there for them to see? Can you see that? And, oh my gosh, I've never seen this. Think, cat play. Cat, it's a penguin plot. Oh, this is cute. It's got a, is it like one of those thinking toys? Large cat blocks. There's toys inside it, so the kitties can can play with that and get it out. They're, oh, I'm having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know when we when we have these kind of toys where we put toys inside it. That's like at night when I do it. I just stuff like those things on the floor with the holes in it. I just stuff them full of all kinds of toys. That's really cool. A penguin with the mouth open and, and lime green toys in there. These are these are cool. And cat stars. Oh, oh, if you guys never use cat stars, these are the best things for fleas. There's six of them in here, and they're for dogs and cats, 2 to 25 pounds. A cat star is an active part of every single cat that comes in here, whether they have fleas or not, because there might be one that's hiding. Um, every single cat will get a cat star, and uh, if, if there are any fleas in, on them, it starts killing them within a half hour. And within 24 hours, it makes me itch. All fleas will be dead on them, but uh, it doesn't take that long. They, they start dying in a half hour. And these poor kitties, <clears throat> these poor kitties that have a lot of fleas, um, the fleas start doing, it's like a neurological dance like. It's a little neural dance, I call it. And they start going towards the end of the hair shaft. And it just, it must really itchy the kitties or feel weird because you can just see their skin twitching but they're dead when by the time they get to the end of the hair shaft they're they're pretty much gone so thank you thank you Nuki senior Nuki and Nuki's mom okay um can you put that in the left door there Carrie so I have one in the left door you want to just have yeah yeah if you would do that that would be awesome awesomer yet okay so Connie you know what's in here I do, I do. Whoops. Whoops. I just can't get the start. <laughs> I'm a hit I one. Think, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Don't ask me to play baseball because I never play basketball. I want to be able to hit a thing. <gasps> And a mousy toy. Oh, Yuki, this is awesome. Oh, you know what? I have wanted to get one of these for a long time. I'm just gonna. I think I can turn it over. I think. Yeah. Oh, I have that tight fit. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Oh. Uh -uh. Wow. Can you see that? that? No. Well, that's, that's heavy duty, too. Uh, you know, this is going to be awesome. Magenta getting to the calendar. Magenta, we can put it over here for magenta at night, and I always pen, worry. Hmm? For the oh, for the big, for Dodger's pen. Dodger's pen, this will be awesome for, too. Um, and actually, like yesterday, when Anon, when Anon, Anon, Anani wanted to start coming out. He kept looking down over it. And so all I had right then was one of those short little doodad things. And he looked at that like that was ridiculous. So like this would be awesome for that. 
and for the yellow table at night time too. Thank you. Or the sink. Oh my gosh. All over, all over the place. Thank you, Nuki Senior, Nuki Kitty, Nuki Mom. Do that thing. Come on, Wild. Give That's her really cool. What'd she say? Do that thing. Yeah. Yeah, Putter won't have to jump off. Aw. Aw. That's really, really, really nice. Boy, that's sturdy, too. Mm -hmm. Where'd Santa go? I, I like the moves. Oh, yeah. There must be a pool in it somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's um, It's um, Yeah, it's a pool. Yeah. 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 Yeah
There's a group of kitties, um, it's 15 kitties that live in Cat's Cove. So that's the great big gigantic huge humongous pen out there on the farmyard. And they live, these 15 kitties live in that for um, eight months out of the year. So because it's winter time, the Cat's Cove kitties then come and spend the winter into Kitty City. So now, this week, soon, I'm hoping tomorrow, um, instead of then being called Cat's Cove cats, they will then be called Kitty City cats. And they will be going into Kitty City, which is right outside our back door. It's much, much closer instead of being on the farmyard. And it's all winterized this year, and Kurt has been working really hard getting it looking really awesome in there. Um, but it's, it's insulated, it's got good windows on there this year, it's just, it's got a good door on there this year instead of just a, um, a, a screen door type thing. So the kitties are really much warmer in there, and they're there from November, December, January, February, oh, November, December, January, February, March, sometimes we go into April, so it's sometimes four and a half months. So when they're out there in the cove, they're called Cats Cove Cats. When they're up here in Kitty City, they're Kitty City Cats. And then Sun Porch and the Kitty Clinic Kitties are actually one and the same. And now we, we don't have any Clinic Kitties, and we haven't actually had the so-called Clinic Kitties for a long time because we I stopped letting them go into the clinic because some of them were sprayers, and I just couldn't have that in the clinic. But they're, they're called Sun Porch Kitties. Um, like if this is, can you get through there, Jim? If this is the, what was the clinic, how would that be? There would be, like this, this section here would be um, added to it. It would be the foyer that, uh, where the check-ins are for what was the clinic. And then this part here would, would be the sun porch kitty. And that's where it's it's fairly good size, and they have a door that they can go in and out of all the time. It's uh, nice and fairly warm out there, it, but they're dry. They can stay dry in there. And um, there's windows in there. There's cat furniture. There's a cabinet with some of their food and blankies in there. So that's where they stay, the Sun Porch Kitty. But they also have thank you. They also have another shed over on a little bit ways away from Kitty from the Sun Porch where there's another little door that they can go in all the time and that shed has um, cat furniture in it as well but in the winter time which soon uh, I think tomorrow Paul's going to start working on that is getting the heat lights out there for them so they'll be spending a lot of time in there so Cats Cove Kitty City is the same just depends on which building they're in and all clinic kitties are now called the Sun Porch Cat so that was a good question Anne Sprinkle, I knew I saw your name, uh, that, that sent our one gift, is uh, how is our weather? We have had a, a tornado watch, I think it was, up until 8 o'clock, which is another hour, but late this afternoon, it got really icky. It got really dark, dark, windy, and lots and lots of rain, um, but I think it's better now. I don't think it's raining right now. Hopefully, it's all over. And I know a lot of you know that there's river right across our road and river at our back of our property way out there. We've got five acres, but the river doesn't come up high enough to ever flood us. We are always going to be okay. Dragon, did I write that down right? How is Jazzy? What was the matter with Jazzy? And also Southern, Southern Miss always also asked how Jazzy is. She's okay today. You know, this morning I ended up giving her a full dose of um, pain meds and she seems a lot better um, you know she's I think she's eight which is getting up there in years for a great dean I uh, she's done that twice now lately where she just barks and barks at night and I have to get up and she's just not comfortable she seems better now that we gave her that medicine and that that's a 24-hour pain med so it should get her through the night and I'll probably do that for a couple of days and see if that helps her out. So I know you guys heard her whining and barking, and it woke me up, and I came out a couple of times. I was worried about her. Uh, CES, -E is it, asked about uh, Emmeline. And when I'm done here, I will... Do you know where Emmeline is? Any? 
school to four. And MK Mouse asked if Kitty City's done. It's not done yet, but Kurt is going to work on that big time tomorrow and get get. You know, he's used that as his workshop. So all of that, all of his tools and equipment has to come out and go into a shed for him. And then we will be moving um, the kitties in. Here's Emmy. There you go, Seth. Yeah, I think they can see her. She's wonderful. Stacy, too. <laughs> uh, Kitty Cam asked about Steve's knee. We don't know a thing more other than we know he has to have that third appointment. Jim, I think you're going to go over here and sit down in a chair. Can you get that one, Stacey? I know, Lee. Stacey, can you get that one? Thank you. Can you get that one? So, Kitty Cam, we're still waiting on when, if ever, his third appointment is. It will come. Uh, Ellie. Ellie asked about Cutie. You know, she has lost a little bit of weight, and she seems to be kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, we're keeping an eye on her and making sure that she, she is eating, uh, but she has lost a little bit of weight. So if things don't perk up, we'll, we'll get her in and see what's going on with her. But, yes, you're very observant. Cat lady asked what supplies might be low that we're getting, what that we might be getting low on. Um, I always hate to ask, ask or, or, to, or mention. I always feel like you guys do so much for us. Um, <clears throat> I know styrofoam plates we are getting low again on, and paper towels we're also very getting very low on, and litter again too. I always feel bad saying what, we're, what we need, but that's, those are three things that I know we're getting low on. Goosey asked how Remo is. Remo is awesome. Um, <laughs> and Connie wishes she could find him. We will find him. Um, he's doing really great, though. He he cracks me up. He takes these toys and he flips them in the air, and then he tackles them and he kicks them. He belly kicks them. He and he can have a whole bunch of fun all by himself, even. Hey, Nuki, look, they like it. And uh, French cat asked about Anani. Oh my gosh, Anani is just the best cat ever. You know, for him coming in here as a full adult male. Not knowing anything of who we are or whatever, he is probably one of the most relaxed cats. Um, he's just here, there, and everywhere. Uh, I haven't. Have you seen him actually playing yet? Who's this? A nine. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I've actually seen him playing, but he's everywhere. Everywhere. He's looking out the windows. He's up on the catwalks. And he doesn't mind when the kitties come up and touch noses with them. But what I think cracks me up the most about him is when he relaxes and lays down, he just melts. Or when you hold him, he just, he's like goo in your arms. He just is a, a lump of goo. He's, uh, I just love him. He's so darn cute. And Sherry, oh, Sherry asked, wait a minute, um, why I started the FFRC. Sherry, are you on? Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good, Anna. Um, Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Yes, was that what it was, how, why we started the FFRC? What brand the litter do we use? Mostly um, Tidy Scoop and Fresh Step. What inspired us to start FFRC? There's Remo. There he is. See, I'm a happy baby. Um, basically, the reason is is because I had such great need to take care of something. You know, I used to work, I, I used to be a human nurse, and then I did, I did environmental classes that I lost with the nature and outside. 
and then I was a vet tech, and then I, I did a lot of different things. Then I was that wildlife orphanage rehab center here that we had taking care of wildlife. And when, we, when I stopped doing that and started boarding dogs, I missed that nurturing and taking care of. And so my daughter and I was talking about what did we like the most and what did we have our, our biggest passion was in. And, and I have been a cat lover from, I think, the day I was born. And um, it just had to be cats. It just, it just had to be. And even while, we were doing, while I was doing the wildlife rehab, uh, and we, I was always getting cats in, and I kept thinking, why are people bringing cats here when we're wildlife, you know? It just never made sense, but then that kind of grew as I decreased the wildlife, and I just knew that that was where. And once we officially started the Friends of Felines Rescue Center, I always knew that all those other things that I did was leading me to what I'm doing now. I believe with my whole heart this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I just feel real strongly in that. I've, I've been given that passion to do this, and I love it. And the volunteers are awesome. And uh, it's just, um, I just love doing that. It's, it's just the, the taking in of the kitties and the cats and helping them get bigger and better and stronger and healthy and, most important, happy, and then finding them their homes. And that's what that, that's what this is all about. So kind of in a nutshell, that's, that's what it is. So I think that's all I have. And, Sherry, thank you for asking. Um, yeah, I got a blue No, not really. <laughs> oh, Steph, Steph, are you, you're the nurse too, huh? Hi, Mamie. And I see Warren. We'll find Warren. All right. Thanks, everybody. New Zealand. Wow, you guys are awesome. My bruise is better. The knot's almost gone. I had three people today ask me how what I did, and it's really embarrassing telling them when I hit the toilet. You know, what else? What can I say, though? It's the truth. Aren't those steps cool? And that's, um, that's heady on there right now. Weasley's weight, is, he's gained six ounces since we weighed him, um, I think it was 12 days ago. So that's a very good weight gain. Feral toilet for <laughs> This is so true. Okay, let me find who, Anani, and who was the other one? I'm sorry, Weezy. Was it Weezy you wanted to see? <laughs> okay, give me a few minutes to find a few of these guys. We just have to show Cutter, though. And Warren, okay. Um, I think it's more Tugger. He's, he, he's, oh, well, he's, I'm watching him right now. He's in the window watching the rain dripping down. Um, I think, I think he's feeling more comfortable and he wants to see how big a boss he can be, maybe. He's really a good boy, though. But I told Putter today that, or I told Tugger today that Putter is the boss. You're just the best, aren't you? Too? Here we gotta, we're gonna put you down low. Come here, Tug. Here's Tugger. Whoa. Oh, come here, buddy. Come on, Bob. Yeah. He says I want my window back. Your feet's even wet. Why are your feet wet? Were you playing in water? Okay, you will let me chill you. Here's Anani. This is for our Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous, who gave us that lovely, lovely, wonderful, awesome washer and dryer. Isn't he cool? He's just, he's a flame point Siamese, and I'm telling you, he is just a pile of goo. He's just, whatever, whatever happens. And can you see his blue eyes? He is, I think we put him down like 13 months, somewhere right in there. He's just a youngster. You guys, you know, if you ever come, you do have to hold Putter because um, 
he is, he just mushes right into you. Mistake. This one is heavy. And when a cat that's behind me on the stairs on the stop, top step, it, that's happy. The sibling. Oh, Hattie, stop it. I hope, I hope uh, Putter does too. I hope he does. You know, he's never, ever up high. He just, he never is because of his ability to jump and get up and down. You know, he does do the table, but nothing more than that. Yeah, see, I am very happy, and I love to have my ears rubbed. Mm -hmm. Huh, okay. Do you want to lay on that? Let me find, see if I can find Warren. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, I have to tell you, Saturday morning, yeah, he's an angel in disguise, all right. It's for Zelda. Oh, I love Zelda. Let me tell you about Saturday morning, though. There's going to be somebody come. They're really good people. And they would love to see, they would love to have a new kitty friend and a black and white and a male. So, they would like to look at Cabas, Warren, um, who's the other one they said? Um, mm-hmm, Cabas and Warren. I think if they mention one of the other ones. But they're going to come Saturday morning. And yeah, that's what I told Cobbis when I came out. Better be on the best behavior. Isn't he awesome, though? It's like he fights between being a little stinker and being a little angel pig. Okay, Cobby. Cobby, baby. up top there above on the orange cabinet that's uh chaplain there we go there's twinkle yeah chaplain is gorgeous oh i woke you up from sleep and so sound aren't you precious I just love her and you know she doesn't take any sass from the kitties if they are playing hard and getting her way she's not beyond smacking them you know those little whippersnappers they need a little correction once in a while don't they oh yeah <laughs> oh you're brave if you smack that pig yeah can you get up there Potter? Sure. 
try to pick up a few I haven't showed lately. This is Nebraska. I'll look for Hudson too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He show Asha. He has to show Asha. And I know where Asha is. Nebraska, you're just too cute. Very pretty. But they asked for Asha, so I have to show them. There's Asha. Oops, don't put me there, baby. Like Isn't she the best? Isn't she the best? Huh? Are you a snuggle bum? Isn't she just beautiful? She knows it. What's your question, Wildfire? <laughs> a good way to recognize Zelda? Well, she's got that black nose. Oh. How old is Asha? Let me, I have to get my book out. Isn't she awesome? I just love her. I do love everybody. Oh, I, oh, I really, really oh, no. love everybody. I just do. I just no. love everybody. Don't you? No. Okay. I think she knows you guys are there. You're too funny. <laughs> she just cracks me up. And Jerry has has Hudson boy. He was asleep. Was he sleeping? Yeah, he was sleeping. <laughs> okay, what was the question? How old is Asha? Was that Asha? Asha's birthday is uh, March 1st, 2010. So this next March she'll be two. So she's like a year and a half. Wheel out more. Yeah, I'll put the wheel out tonight. I in Hudson. T F G H Hudson. We weighed today, and he's four pounds, fifteen ounces. Four pounds, fifteen ounces. Yeah, I'll bring. I'll get the wheel out tonight. And was there another question that I missed? Well, oh, that's okay, Pika, because uh, I'm going to add. Two packs of each kind of those for tomorrow's breakfast. I already got it out for tomorrow. They'll love it. I'm, I'm sure they will just love it. So, Yuki, yeah. How much weight has Weasley gained? Let me get Weasley's record out here. Weasley, when he first came, actually, before it was officially uh, brought into the rescue center, he was 11 ounces. That, that was on 10-9. Then October 16th, he was 12 ounces. 10-27, he was 15 ounces. November 2nd, he was 1 pound 4 ounces. And today, he was 1 pound 10 ounces. So he's gained a lot. There's Nuki. Thank you, Carrie. There's Nuki. Hi, Nuki, baby. He was hiding in the... Um Food cabinet again earlier. We had to go running down. <laughs> yeah, they're going to look for a black and white kitty meal. And Tasco, or uh, was it Tasco? I think you asked. I just saw Tasco. Oh, is she okay? Is she alright? Is she over? Right? Yeah. She crawled right in with Remo. Oh, with Remo. That's good. Here's Tasco. Lilo. Let me get Lilo's record here. Lilo. Birthday is um, May. 
2010. She was she's a year and a half old. Tasco, listen, dude. They are just no brain butts tonight. Tasco always does that. Tasco, he he's a bit of a nipper when he gets tired of things. I just saw somebody. Here, here he is. Here he is. Here's Wiggles. This is from the other night when you guys asked me about Wiggles and I didn't find them. Yeah, they, hey there. There you go. Say hi, everybody. He was just a little twerp, too, wasn't he? See, I was growing. He's getting long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he is. This, he he could be a a show cat. You know how they do that. Look at him. Okay, buddy. What? Oh, my arm needs washed. I do a couple more. I'm trying to pick some that hasn't we haven't showed lately. This is Cinnabon. me up because he's not usually always so quiet. He's the one in the morning when I do breakfast. He's just a little butt sometimes. I have to put him in a pen because he won't stay off of the counter. I mean, he won't stay off the counter. Yeah, isn't he wonderful? You're just saving it all up for breakfast. I always say you can't go wrong with an orange cat or a black and white one. Or a tiger. <laughs> oh, here, Tasco, you got to get down the other way. Here, Tasco. Let's go this way. Then we don't have to look at it. Oh. Here's Preakness. You can always tell Preakness because of her conversion. And she came in with Derby, but remember, they're not siblings. They were just friends that they came in. Say hi, everybody. She's furring. You were seeping, weren't you? Let's go put you back on your Betty Bye. Here's the one you wanted, Zelda Belda. And you asked how to tell her. She's got that black nose and then the white and then that black under her chin. Um, you can tell Zelda from Zelda from all the rest because she's the cutest. I love her. I, I, if I could, I just told my husband tonight, I told Steve, if I could take one more kitty in my house, I would take her, but I can't. I, do, I know she's wonderful. Zelda. Sure, Gonzo. Let me look for Gonzo. And I just saw, who, who was the other one too? So Gonzo, there was somebody else someone wanted to see and I missed it. I don't remember. Uh, let me look for Gonzo. Is that you? No. Oh, and County. That's who it is. Gonzo and County. Who were they? In the office, County? Yeah. Is he down there in the box? Has he got a white sock? Okay. I don't have County yet or Gonzo, but I found found our little cutie friend. Cutie. 
Christine. And I think while I have her, I'll weigh her right now because I missed her this morning. Isn't she cute? Gained her weight that she had lost. She had at one time. She weighs six ten right now, and she had um, gotten down to six oh four, but now she's back up to six ten. That's where she usually maintains her weight at. So we're good. We're good. We'll just keep an eye on her. Make sure everything's okay. There's Mr. Gonzo. There's Mr. Gonzo. See his face is black triangle on his nose is a lot bigger and he's got that longer white stripe up his forehead. I think you go to tab this tonight and get you both me up. We'll let him have one of those tonight too. This one we're going to save till next week. Next week. Look at Tasco made it up on top. So good, they're all snoozing away. Yes, Gonzo is neutered. <laughs> she, she just looks. How are you going to wake up? Jim and I, maybe your mom is out there. She says, Oh, I just can't be bothered. I'm too tired. You can wake up. <laughs> you are so lazy. How are you doing, Lilo? Here's Lilo, right behind Connie. Here's Chaplin. I hate that when I put just put sleep prevention on them and I kiss them. Like, a Weasley, okay. Yeah, Chaplin can be a little bit of a naughty girl. Weasley, is he asleep? Well, as ornery as he makes it to us and makes us work, he ought to come out here. Go. If if Weasley doesn't go right back to sleep, one of some of you guys have to come here and put him to sleep again. Really? Are mm -hmm. all six of the kitties in Cap's corner room? Yeah. Not okay. always. Cool. You can hold him. Here's Picasso. We gotta put him. We gotta put him back in the room. Be easy. I don't you think I showed Picasso for a little while. Mm -hmm. And I found oh, I found Tony, but he's mm -hmm. way up high at the very top of the big oak tree. Oh. <gasps> a space kitty. Oh. Is it up for adoption? Wearing a little 
bit of bath powder? No, not unless it was like from a shampoo, Mimi. Oh, do I see my birdie? I'd love to show my birdie. Huh, no, I haven't, Mimi. You're very welcome. Um, County's way, way, way up high at the very top of that great big oak tree, so I don't think I can reach him, but I can get Iney. He's in there squawking. He's the one doing that big meowing. I wonder if this is strong Gary's <laughs> <laughs> our, our kitty. There, Diney. Say hi. Here, step up there. Say hi. They wanted to see you. <coughs> Oops, Jeez, don't do that. You'll bust their ears. You'll bust your ears. Say their you ears. Talk when I come out. <laughs> come on, up you go. <laughs> So, sorry about that. Sorry. Um, so, if that Sphinx, does that Sphinx need a home? I'm sure it'll find like a thousand people would want it. Hi, uh, Jackie, watch behind you. Whoops. Is it? Whoops, yep, that's the one I worry about. <laughs> no, no, no. I want you on my hand so I can see where you're at. Lilo? Uh, Lilo seems to be fine with the doggies. Um, all three of my dogs were out and about a lot this morning, and they, she was fine. Robin is interested in Milo. Oh, oh, is she cleaned one of? Oh, yeah. Wizen and Buffin are both bad about Einsteiny. Yeah, I'm telling you, I love my, my Sphinx. They're so silly and fun. And, you know, when I go in at night and lay down on the couch to watch a little TV, no, buddy, honey, you got to be here so I can see all around you for, because of the cats. Um, uh, Zany and Zeke come up, and they come up here, and then they paw at my blankie that I have on, and they want down underneath there, and they'll cuddle underneath the blankie. It's, I, I just love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their temperatures, their temperatures are so warm and they always want to be really warm. Yeah, you better, you better be a good boy. Look at Gonzo. Whoa, don't on Einstein, oh my gosh. Listen, okay, I just said bye. <laughs> I, uh, Buffin, look at him looking. <laughs> Wait, Buffin, you left. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, my gosh. That one's so smiling. Look at Patty. And you you better, yeah, you guys, we better get you in. Lunch. No flapping your wings. Well, Borgard, are you about ready to head for home? Maybe. I'm going to take off and um, go get my kitty's boxes scooped. If you guys get to chat with Kurt, or racer tomorrow, tell him to feel better. He's been a sick guy today. He's had a really severe migraine and he's got sinusitis, I guess, and lymph glands are swollen and he's felt pretty, pretty bad all day today. So hopefully he'll feel better tomorrow. Yeah, poor guy. Okay, yeah, we don't like him to feel bad. So, in a little bit, I'll come back out and I'll set up the playground. And um, thanks, everybody, for being with us. Thank you very much. And thank you for our gifts tonight.